This afternoon, IMPD is investigating, looking into what it's calling an unfortunate accident. Last night, a pregnant woman was attacked by one of its dogs. Now, she had to be rushed to the hospital. It's actually where she remains at this hour. The Now's Ann Kelly talking to her family just a bit ago. She joins us live outside of Methodist Hospital with the latest right now. And what's going on? Rafael and Candace, Mara Mancini, that 20 year old woman who is eight months pregnant, she is recovering at the hospital right here behind me. Now, before I get to how she is doing, I want to break down exactly what happened last night that led to her getting bit. Now, her parents and IMPD telling me police have been chasing a suspect through her alley in the 300 block of North Addison. That's on the southwest side of the city. This is a suspect they thought may have a gun, so officers did as they normally do. They deployed one of their dogs. Now, how was Mara bit? Well, the suspect ran into her yard. The dog followed. She heard a commotion. She stepped outside to see what was happening, and the animal attacked, confusing her with the man police had been chasing. Now, Mara's dad telling me his daughter, uh, the dog, bit his daughter on her arm and thigh, and she was immediately rushed to the hospital. She's still in the hospital. She's uh, suffering with a lot of pain. She had to have surgery. She has some nerve damage done in her arm. Uh, the bite on her thigh, I'm not real sure on the uh, condition of that. Um, I'm not sure when she's going to be getting out. He adds the baby Mara is carrying is uh, expected to be okay, but are of course going to be monitoring it closely, all while demanding an explanation from IMPD. Mara was at her home on her property, simply stepped outside and was attacked. How did this happen? Again, IMPD saying directly this was an accident. Nothing Mara did wrong. Uh, the dog happened to just be confused. Coming up on the news at five, we learn what the department is doing as a result of this attack and what police say you can do to protect yourself from a similar incident. For now, we are reporting live outside IU Methodist Health, Health downtown and Kelly, RTV6.